Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's discussion is on spectral decomposition, which is a very important topic in quantum mechanics, and you can relate this to in future. Uh, so without any delay, let's get started. So what actually is spectral decomposition? Uh, for this, I am taking an example of a polarized light. So let us define the polarization of the light as E, which is also known as the uh, light vector. As you know from the Maxwell's equation, this is the solution of the Maxwell's equation um, and is given by E naught, e naught e to the power i kz minus omega t. Uh, here I am assuming that the light is propagating along the z direction, that's why there is z, k is the wave vector mm, and uh, I, I assume that all of you are familiar with this term and here Ep cap is the unit vector in the direction of polarization. So the intensity of this light is given by E0 mod square mm, and if we put an analyzer here I am I have shown that by this arrow a let's say this is an analyzer along the x direction after the light passes through it it will be polarized in the x direction only and we know that from um, polarization and so I have written that after polarization the vector is given by let's say E prime which is given by E naught prime e to the power i kz minus omega t E x cap. This is important. We have initially E p cap then after it passes through the polarizer it uh, changes to E x cap and E x cap we know that this is the unit vector in the x direction. And then we know that intensity is just proportional to the amplitude of the wave that is E0 prime square. And then we, from Malas law we know that uh, the uh, um, intensity of light passing through an analyzer is, is given by I0 equals to I cos square theta where I is the initial intensity of the light and theta is the angle between the axis of polar analyzer and the uh, uh, direction of polarization of the incident light. In this case, the axis of polarization is x axis and the um, angle between the EP cap and EX cap is theta. This is shown here. Mm, this angle theta. So let us decompose this E vector along these two direction and we can easily do that. So mm, what will be the x component? The x component will be E naught cos theta only the amplitude I am considering only the amplitude. Uh, th this amplitude is E naught and when we decompose this along these two directions, we get E0 cos theta along x direction and E0 sine theta along the y direction. And yeah, so E0 cos theta, we can write it as E vector dot EX cap. We know that we can write this because uh, the vector product is given by the magnitudes and and cos cosine of the, the angle between them and we know that the magnitude of ex cap is 1 so we can write this we can write this and then we can determine the intensity so intensity is again this amplitude e vector dot ex cap vector mm, mod square so we can easily determine that this is i cos square theta which is same as the Malas law. So a measurement here the analyzer only gives certain privileged result. What do I mean by privileged result? That in an experiment 
we can get uh, any result of our choice there must be some result uh, set of result there must be some set of result and we get one of them and those results are known as known as privileged results the in quantum mechanics those results are also known as eigen results we will be familiar with these terms eigen results eigen values in future or you may have learned this in matrix if we consider light as photon particles then only two results are possible so here we are explaining the experiment say light is a flux of photon particles and then uh, we do the experiment and try to explain that on the basis of particle theory of light uh, so uh, if um, photons are uh, coming from the left hand side towards the analyzer so some photon will pass through it and some will be blocked by it but that uh, but in that case we can't predict the probability of getting a certain result so we cannot say how many particles will pass through and how many particles will be blocked by the analyzer we can't say if we just consider the particle aspect of light and uh, say, and if we consider only the wave aspect of light then also we can't explain this experiment because um, according to the wave theory of light we must get i cos square theta intensity after the analyzer no matter how weak the source is but if we actually do the experiment with a very weak source in which approximately one photon is generating at a time we can see that um, the result is in matching with the theory so again in this experiment it is proved that light is not just a particle or a wave it is a combination of both we cannot separate them and we have to accept that this is both a particle and light and corresponding to each eigen result there is an eigen state and after the analyzer the state of the system collapses or we can say after the experiment whatever experiment we are doing after the experiment the state of the system collapses to one of the eigen state one of the eigen state corresponding to the result or the to the eigen result in our example we can see that there are two eigen results which are uh, either the light will be polarized in x direction or y direction so these are the eigen state of the system if before the experiment we know that the system is in certain um, eigen state that is in this case we say if ex or ep cap is ex cap before the experiment then the analyzer and if the analyzer is along x direction then photon will certainly pass through it and if it is in the state ey cap before the experiment then it will certainly be stopped by the analyzer because uh, axis of the analyzer is ex cap here we can see that the two results are possible either it passes through the analyzer or or it is blocked by it these two results are possible and we can conclude that if the state of the system before the measurement is an eigen state then the result is certain when the state of the system before the measurement is arbitrary then only the probabilities of obtaining certain results are possible to calculate we cannot say certainly that this is going to happen we can only predict some probabilities to find these probabilities we have to decompose the state into a linear combination of a and state for example in this case we are writing ep cap ep cap as ex cap cos theta ey cap sin theta we can see it from the figure that this is the ep cap direction and we can this direction is ep cap we can decompose it is along uh, x and y direction 
and we have just written that here ep cap ex cap cos theta ui cap sin theta the probability of obtaining certain result is thus proportional to the square of the absolute values of coefficients of expansion here the coefficients of expansion are cos theta and sin theta and sum of the probabilities should be one because uh, there must be some result coming out of the experiment and in our example the polarized light um, the we have seen the coefficients are cos theta and sin theta so if we add them after squaring them so we get cos square theta and sin square theta and we know that this is one indeed so our result is consistent with our theory after all this we can say that measurement on a system disturbs the system fundamentally and it collapses to the eigen state corresponding to the result we will learn this more in future and you will be familiar with this concept uh, and this is again i am saying that this is a very important concept to understand quantum mechanics so see you in the next lecture please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends thank you so much